stay careful. I still feel like I'm dreaming. <laughs> I feel like I just broke up out this bitch. Yeah, don't go to jail in Broad County. Don't go to jail in Broad County. Hey, not finna let you out. Oh, that boy, that boy can't You look fresher than a bitch. Yo, my nigga. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm about oh, this shit, dog. Man, I'm about this shit, dog. Yeah. <laughs> this shit about to be crazy. This shit about to be crazy. This shit about to be crazy. Oh, goodness. Let me call my mom. Oh, shit, bro. You out? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga. Look, FaceTime. Huh? FaceTime. I'm a powerful baby. Do it. <laughs> Hi, Hi, princess. You look beautiful. Hi. What are you talking about? I look horrible. Are you kidding? You look like, like you sex. Feel... How does it feel to be free? I feel like crying. I'm about to get on my knees. <laughs> I'm dead ass serious. So I don't oh, come back to the shit. I'm so happy you're finally out. Yeah. You look fresh, bro. You all look like a gag. I love you. I love you. See you in a little bit. All right, I'm going to call you. Oh, man. Yo, my fucking name comes up, my nigga. Josse D. Onfroy, better known by his stage name XXX Tentacion, is an American hip hop recording artist from Plantation, Florida. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, well, that's a lot of fucking followers. Hey, shit. Holy shit. Hey, hey. Yes, I do. Uh, Wait, are you getting short? No. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess you like this jacket better, huh? Mm -hmm. yes, I do. Let me pick you up. <laughs> if you could. <laughs> Papa. Papa. <laughs> no, I'm gonna let him sleep. <laughs> Yo, this is hilarious. Like, Yo, bro, you about to have a number one record soon. You understand that? You're gonna have a number one record. You about to have the biggest song in the country very soon. Very soon. So just leave all the BS alone, bro. The really important thing is to ignore her. Ignore her. Ignore her. Keep away from all that bullshit because it's not worth it. You feel me? Look what you already went through over that. Understood. Look where you're going. Fast. For real, look where you're oh, at right now. Like, now is about your family and yeah. about your life, about your career, about you accomplishing everything you ever wanted. That's the only exactly. thing that matters, man. Leave everything else in the past, bro, and just make the most out of it. Make your little brother proud. Make your mother proud. Make your family proud, bro. That's every, all everybody wants. It's just to be proud of you, you know what I mean? For you to change the lineage of the Onfroys for the rest of eternity. Yeah. And you are the example right now. I mean, I'm not saying you're a role model like that, but people are looking at you. And you now have a lot of responsibilities as a grown man. You hear that, Leo? You got a lot of responsibilities. <laughs> I'm handing this to you. As a grown man. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, I understand. Nah, you're gonna be just fine. I'm gonna just take it one step at a time. That's all you can yeah. do, man. Just take it one step at a time and just try to do the right thing. Yeah. That's all that counts, man. This is a story. This is a full story, and this is the last time I will tell it.
she was already bruised on her face. All while she was staying with me, she was already bruised on her face. Now with the, the severe bruising, I don't know how the fucking severe bruising came about, but she had like bruises on the left side of her face when she was at Bruno's. I think she got jumped. That's what I, t- that's what I told everybody, like, yo, she got jumped. Cause I'm, cause the way she was fucked up, I think she got jumped. They're not gonna admit to it. I don't, I don't give a fuck. That's not my part of the story. But that, that bitch got whooped bad. <laughs> Whoa. So I didn't beat her. Nor do I give a fuck about who beat her at this time, because now I know she's an evil bitch. There's a story. Jesse was like, no, Mom, it's not true. And um, a part of me, you know, took that and run with it. What do you think now? I mean, that's my son. Even if he's Hitler, that's my son. If he's a devil, that's my son. I birthed him. Wrong, right, or indifferent, I'm going to have his back no matter what, and I'm going to have his best interests at heart. So naturally for me, I want to save my child. Any mother would have done the same thing, I would think. Dancing? Yeah. What do you mean I was dancing? Like whining, like slow. Oh! <laughs> I could never repay my mom for the amount of pain that she's been through and I gave her more and she still stood there hanging on with broken hands. I could never repay her for that. I am forever in her debt, and I do everything that I still do now for my fans and for my mother. There is most definitely a difference between Jose Onfroy and XXX at this point. Nobody cared about Jose Onfroy. Jose Onfroy was very meek. Jose Onfroy was weak. You're leaving now. 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 Everybody now. go. You take everybody out the door now. Nobody gave a fuck about me as an individual. Nobody gave a fuck about how I felt. Now my opinion is respected, and every move I make is recorded and calculated. Nobody cared about Jose on for it until he took on the persona as XXX. Darkness sells. Bad things.